All right, in this video, I'll show you how to make a USB bootable Macrium. So basically, go to Macrium website and download their free version. Type in an email address. All right, so let's go to our email. I'll just pause the video while I go to my email. Okay, so here we are. I'm in the email. That's the download link. So you'll need to download it. And also to make, yeah, so download it, yep. So here we go. Free. Yep. Download. In the time being, get a USB, plug it into the computer. So make sure there's nothing important because you will lose everything on it. All right, so we finished downloading. Let's install it. Great, now to make the USB, create rescue media, if I remember, let me double check. Yes, correct. So, select device, so you want to select your USB. I would normally say click build. Let me see. Um, hmm, okay. Okay.
So I will be using this in Windows, I mean more recent computers, you know. Um, let's let's go with this one. Because it's got USB 3 and UEFI. Most computers nowadays have UEFI. So what I will normally do is, yeah, so what I will do is I'll create an ISO file. By the way, mm, it does not allow GPT. Okay, so what happened is the USB that I've got has been formatted in GPT. You probably won't have this error problem. You'll probably have the build button to continue. In your case, then just go ahead and just delete this partition this USB is a cheap ass one Alright, so this USB that I've got is a horrible one. I actually need Macrium. I need a few more copies, so I'll just get a new sixteen gig USB. Alright, normally for normal users, let me just plug in a USB. You can see you can just select your USB and go build. Yeah. Now this is an important um, option. This one here, enable multi-boot MBR. I do recommend it. That means it will be universal. You can use it on older systems and newer systems. Yeah. And just go back to advanced again. Yeah, I'll just go with this guy, okay? So we don't need any of these, these are more advanced, okay? That's fine, leave it at that. And select the USB and build. Now this um, creates bootable USB with some drivers taken from this computer. Um, so if you, if you put it onto another computer with different hardware, you might not get the Wi-Fi example support working, which is fine.
finally and one thing I do recommend if you're a technician do buy this software it's very good um, also I do recommend buying Acronis products and Macrium they're very good very useful in daily activities and also the other brand the um, A or M what is that called A A O M E I I'm not paid by any of those companies so A O M E I yeah this guy this company also makes great software especially um, the backupper one thing that's good is cloning cloning a hard drive a RAID system to a single hard drive system that's a great lifesaver anyway so let's continue this so after this we should be good to go and I'll do a demo of it booting up on this computer okay so uh, one thing I was going to say is it's good to create a ISO file which you can later use um, Rufus to burn the ISO file on demand you don't need the software so our USB is good to go so I'll show you how we can do it so I'm going to shut this computer down every computer is different of course so this is a HP HP's are to go into boot menus F9 Dell F12 Lenovo I think you gotta press enter or escape to bring up the menu or they have a recovery button you need to press first Toshiba Asus you need to go into BIOS change the boot order then F12 or just choose the USB so this guy I'm gonna turn it on keep tapping F9 you will see boot menu come up which you can't because here we go boot options and we can see our USB in there now some systems have secure boot enabled you actually need to disable that okay disable secure boot and then you can boot into different devices so if I go into this SanDisk USB which I've made and we shall see Windows PE environment boot with the Macrium software running after that. There you go, you have it. So thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.